Hi friends, welcome back to Veltech UC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. I am Vincent. Today we are going to discuss about open circuit voltage versus arc voltage in welding. Voltages in welding, that is OCV and arc voltage. Let us try to find out the difference between these two. Here we we got a welding power source and here is the front panel of it. So we will uh, observe these functions of the voltage as we pro proceed with the welding. Now in this case the machine is off and you can see the voltage is zero, the ambient is zero and machine is, the light is off, machine is off. Now let us see how the, what is OCV? OCV or open circuit voltage is the voltage generated by the welding machine when no welding is being done. The range of OCV runs between 50 to 80 volts approximately. Sometimes it may even go beyond 80 even up to 90, 100 or so, 90 and 100, 90 or 100. Here is the changes happened on the voltage. The machine is on now, but MPS is zero. That means welding is not being uh, done. The voltage here shows almost 70, 72 volts which is known as OCV open circuit voltage this is when you put on the machine at the same time you have not started the welding the the voltage generated by the welding machine when you start it that is known as open circuit voltage or widely known as OCV now let us try to find out what is arc voltage Arc voltage is the voltage between the electrode and work during welding and determined by arc length. The range of the arc voltage runs between 18 to 36 volts approximately. Let us see the panel, front panel of the machine. Now they have started the welding. As you can see they started the OCV which was there around 70-72 has come down to 24 voltage when the welding taking place and the MPS moved to approximately 150 MPS when the welding is normally being done. Okay, so see, you can see the changes now. The OCV was around 70, 75, 75 approximately. And the, the moment they started the welding, the welder started the welding, the voltage has moved to 24, 23, and the MPS is showing as 150. This, when the welding is going on, this is the arc voltage. And the arc voltage is, can be explained further here. It is directly directly related to the arc length. The arc voltage is directly linked to arc length. Propro, it is proportional to arc length. This is known as arc length. From this point to here, this distance is the arc length. The moment you raise this filler metal or electrode, your arc voltage also will increase. At the same time, if you keeping a short arc, it brings down to this level, your arc voltage is also becoming lower. From 20 to 23, it can come to 20, 21, 18, that level. So, the arc, well, arc voltage is proportional to arc length. Now you see, 
the the welder purposely raised the arc length yes lifted the electrode slightly the moment he lifted from 22 it has gone to almost 44 so that is the relation between arc length and arc voltage the arc length is raised voltage is raised or increased arc length is reduced the voltage is also decreased let us try to understand uh, how this actually works this ocv and the arc uh, voltage we will go to the lab room the lab of uh, lloyd institute of technologies uh, this is uh, the classroom the uh, notes are being noted down by the students i think it is uh, the well symbol is the module uh, and we will enter into the lab now the welder is ready and the welder is about to start the welding the machine must be off is there yeah, the machine is off now and uh, voltage you now yeah he has uh, put the machine on voltage ocv this is the ocv ocv is almost 70 and the mbs zero when you start welding the mbs will move he has started the welding now the mbs yes it is 150 and the voltage is 24 and he will be raising it the arc length he will try to increase and you see it is going up to 40 here 40 but the uh, ambience is stable now you i hope this session was very useful for you now you will be able to distinguish between ocv and arc voltage uh, we will come with a useful video very soon until then goodbye